I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Not too long ago, like yesterday or a few hours ago, it depends on when this video airs, I did a comparison between the Fonjoy, the Batman, and the McFarlane, the Batman. It was a spirited competition in which the Fonjoy Batman did end up winning. But since we're already set up for some Batman action, I figure let's continue with some of the Batman action with Bootleg Alley. Bootleg Alley, uh, Season 2, Episode 2, uh, minus the alley, since we already are set up for some Batman with the Mafex of the Batman. As you can see, the box of this guy came in not great condition. I mean, but that's not important because we're not a inbox collector and it's a bootleg anyway. Here goes the front of the box. I like how the camera makes the box look, the artwork of the box look a lot crisper than it does in real life because truly this looks like a photocopy. And the side of the Batman and the back of the Batman with all of the things that he comes with and, you know, the attempt to uh, tape the box shut. But, um, let's say we cut this dude open as much as we can since he's pretty much open already. And here goes the Mafex bootleg Batman out of the box looking uh, very good, uh, at least to the eye. You know, we'll take him through his paces to see how good or bad he actually is. But he comes loaded, loaded with stuff, as you can plainly see. Three extra heads, a cow, weapons, eight pairs of hands, which might be a record. And more weapons, beta, batarangs, you name it. It looks like uh, the Batman has it to do his crime fighting duties. But let's say we take a closer look at the bootleg Mafex, the Batman. So let's take a closer look at the Batman. And I think we can say he does look pretty darn good. I will say the face with the mask on does look like a, a very good representation of Robert Pattinson. We could take a couple of looks as comparison. This is the uh, McFarlane uh, Batman face in comparison to the Fonjoy Batman face, which has a little bit more color. The costume looks very good. I love the armored uh, elements. He has a little bit more weathering on his bat symbol than uh, the other figures do. He has his uh, murder spikes on his uh, gauntlets, looking pretty good. He also comes with another set of... Uh, murder spike gauntlets I am not quite sure what the difference is we'll have to take a look at that I don't know of course he has his wired cape and his shoulder pads all looking pretty good shoulder pads feel a little a little a little ginger you might want to be careful with those with this bootleg but yeah, everything looks good. But um, I am accustomed, well, more times than not, especially these new wave of bootlegs that we're getting. They all look good. They, I mean, I don't know what's going on with the bootleg game, but, uh, you know, they seem to be uh, upping the ante a little bit for what they're bringing to the table. But how does this guy move? You know, how does he... Uh, how does he handle the, the tortures of being an actual action figure? Let's check out these knees, which 
are double jointed. Well, that's clever. I like how the um, the knees, the knee pads, if you see this, that's a nice little piece of engineering, are a little longer, which kind of uh, hides the knee pads and kind of make them look a little bit more organic. It's uh, kind of nifty. I don't think I've seen that before. Not much of ankle rock, but uh, this one rocks better. Uh, this one, okay, you just need to work it a little bit. Ankles rock pretty good. Uh, he has a waist, he has a chest swivel, and he has a waist swivel too. He has a thigh cut, which moves pretty good. Let's see how these legs, uh, they, they, these hips don't drop. The legs only go up so high. They don't go back too far at all. Uh, this one goes up, okay, they go up pretty good. Let's check out these arms. Got this double jointed, uh arm going on. Can we move these legs out? We can. The knees. Okay. Let's turn this body around as we kind of pose this guy. He is a Batman. He should be able to get into some Kung Fu poses. He is a kind of a ninja. Oh, that looks pretty good. And then, you know, with the cape swinging away since it is wired. Now you gotta... Okay, yeah, this is uh, pretty nice. Oh my goodness, this is a really, really nice figure. This is a really nice figure. Okay. <laughs> wow. And he seems to be relatively well constructed. Goodness, yeah, okay. Wow. And he can move all kinds of ways. And again, I, I am not good how I feel about uh, these bootlegs being so good. <laughs> but uh, this would be uh, the second of the new wave of bootlegs I have seen. The first one was Spider-Man 2099, which was outstanding. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at these um, alternative heads that we have here. Let's get a closer look, closer look at these. I don't know. I'm seeing, uh, I don't know if I'm seeing Robert Pattinson in here. And in this one, we have... Okay. And in this one, I think I'm seeing more Mickey Dolans than uh, Robert Pattinson. I know you're like, who the hell is Mickey Dolans? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> His anger face. And he also has... A cow, which uh, I'm not quite sure what the cow is for, but he has one. Maybe he puts it in his hand while he has one of his regular faces on. I'm not sure. But since this guy does come with eight pairs of hands, which does seem a bit excessive, but hey, better to have them than not have them. My McFarlane over there came with zero extra pairs of hands, so there's that. Let's see if we can uh, swap a few out. So he went ahead and put on a couple of his accessories, put on his, uh, his goth head, went ahead and changed his hands. He has so many, we certainly can't try them all. So he can hold a batarang as well as a grappling gun. We also changed his uh, chest plate so he could wear his other chest plate. Everything fits great. There was no problems. Had to, had to heat up his head a little bit to get it on the peg. Seemed a little tight, but no problems with the hands. Probably because they're on these peg things, which keep them nice and, and wide open. We even got a bat. We even got a. We even got a bicycle for the Batman to ride if he wants to. He certainly can't ride one of these because he is far too small to ride one of the McFarlands. Speaking of size, this is how. Our Batman stands next to the McFarlane, the Batman, and this is how he stands next to the Fine Joy, the Batman. As you can see, he is more of a six-inch figure. It means he could play nice with some of your other Batman figures, say like uh, this guy here. Final thoughts on this guy? Well, he's almost flawless. He looks great. His accessories are plentiful. His articulation is smooth. There's almost no pose that I can't see that you can't get him in. 
because it's a bootleg figure, we don't give bootleg figures a, a any kind of value because they're a bootleg figure. I mean, you know, you really can't resell a bootleg figure unless you're reselling it as a bootleg figure, I guess. I don't know. At least I hope nobody's trying to pass this off as a legitimate Mop X. But truth be told, $20 that I spent for this guy was $20 well spent as these bootlegs keep getting nicer and nicer and more solid and more well built which you know could be a problem which again we're going to casually ignore on this particular occasion but still a really nice figure